Ugh. Ugh. That was an inner throw up. You guys are uncomfortable. Just get out of here. But you can stay because I'll probably wear you on Valentine's Day if I have a date. <laughs> date. Hello. Hello, it is me, Leopard Woman. I know you missed me, but I was only gone for a little while. It's like 11 p.m. and I'm drunk. So what? Pew, pew. <laughs> I just got back from a date with the plumber, my auction date. And you know, I guess I got dressed up, you know, it was just for him, but I didn't get dressed up for him. I got dressed up for anybody else that I saw when I was there. You never know who's gonna be out when you go out. I'm coming! I'm just, can you, oh. He can't hear me. Doors are pretty thick, I guess. His ears are thick. Boom! I just got back from my date with the plumber. You guys know him? Kind of stinks, but I think he already knew that. But he stinks metaphorically, but also like just odor. So I got to pick the restaurant, which is great. So I picked this fancy place I've never been called Purr Purr, and um, it's like this fancy place where Purr Purr Lee, the chef, he has a can and he opens it right in front of you and he like throws the can and the lid in the air and like fire and there's like little mice being thrown and like the mice are also holding little baby cans and like the mice be Japanese and you know it's a French restaurant and it's just like it was a crazy place and it's called um, Kitty Kibble Nouveau. I read it in Cat Vogue and I was like, we gotta go here. So we went there and the plumber, he picked me up in his mother's car and in the back seat was this lady, this Asian woman and she kept talking about ping pong balls and next to her is Kim, Kim, Captain Euchre's stripper girlfriend Kim. And it's like, what are you doing in the car? That's friggin' weird. Oh, hey, I'm coming! So then we get to the place, the restaurant. She goes to the bar and just starts slamming my drinks. I did that too, but I didn't do it right away. Anyway, so we get our table, and this Asian lady, Ping Pong Poon, she comes up to me and she's all excited, wanting to sit beside me. And she says that she's the mail order bride of the plumber who just got her yesterday in the mail. She came in like a little box, like a little cage, like, like you know, something, like I don't know. I've never been in a cage and I'm a cat, so I don't know if she could fit in there. But so she came and I guess he ordered her and she came after the auction, so he had to bring her along. And she couldn't speak English. Not a word of English, but she could speak my native tongue, Persian, from Lepardia. I don't know why. We just started talking back and forth and we missed home and it was so, so nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coming! I'm trying to find a credit card! I'm trying to find it so I can pay your fare! Taxi jerk. He's a taxi cab driver and he wants his money. I'm trying to find it, my wallet. Anyway. So we're having a good time talking. We're gonna keep in touch, me and Poon, I think. The plumber kept trying to get his way in there and talk to us, but we just ignored him and it was so cute. So I didn't have a terrible time. I thought I would, but it wasn't awful. How many brushes do I have in here? And he stuck me with the bill. Nice. And you know what? He, he better not think that just because I liked his girlfriend, I'm gonna let him back in her own enforce, because I'm not. I mean, I'll take him up on his offer. Another brush to clean the toilets. Sure, you can clean the toilets, but that's it, buddy. That is it. I wonder if Poon's tricks are like a superhero power. She kept talking about these magic tricks that she can do. And the plumber was like, stop talking about it. My mother doesn't like those. Help, don't talk about it. And then she said that it, they were great. It's like, what if she could be on Ronin Force? What if she could be the next woman on Ronin Force? I could always use another lady on the force that especially knows about pussies. I, that'd be... I'm coming! Oh, here's my wallet. Here's my wallet! I got it! Oh, look at this. This is my cousin. Yeah, he has autism, but he's a really great guy. Okay. 
Here, oh, here's my credit card. I got it, I got it. This is my friggin' credit card. I owe you. Who, me? You owe who? Smiley face, bastard. I owe you one credit card. Have a fantabulous day. Signed FG. FG, Frank Goldberg. What's he? Fantabulous gal. Oh, Nelly.